but now what? I guess shimmy. Or the controls can just spaz out. Seriously, it doesn't let you jump in there. Oh, so that was a divot of a little slant ceiling thing instead of a handhold thing. Oh, gee, maybe they should work on their graphics to make sure everything is defined. I'm just gonna turn this because fuck you. Dodge was a button instead of frickin' the frickin' stick. Hey, we don't have a camera feature. We can fucking do bullshit. But I'm just getting exceedingly annoyed by this game's attempts at difficulty when it obviously can't do it correctly. The puzzles? Fine. I can accept the puzzles and me just being incompetent while saying, hey, maybe this could have been designed just a little bit easier or made it a little bit more, you know, actually like, hey. Well, just to make it more noticeable, just like this is how it's done. But then there's that. Then there's just being incredibly dickish and putting something absolute, putting some absolute bullshit in as difficulty. And that's what they did. That's what that fucking was. Because it's a time limit without their ever explaining that there was. And then having some of the most annoying enemies, so it's just like, the only reason I got through was because of the super. That should never happen. You should be able to go through the entire game without using the super unless it's on harder difficulties. But at the same time, harder difficulties are usually that way because it devolves into the, oh, bullshit design because we don't know how to design things good. I sure do love that the enemies can combo. So long as this game doesn't do any more of that annoying stuff. Just no more. LOL. Here's a time limit out of nowhere. So long as it doesn't do that again, I feel like I'll be fine.
Give me the orbs. But yeah, I just beg the game. Don't do anything like that anymore, because that isn't fun. That isn't clever. My youngest son will laugh no more. Death in the service of his father. Death in the service of the gods. The building of this temple has claimed his life. May you be lucky enough that it not claim yours. Pathos Verde is the third chief architect in Lords of the Gods. Give me shiny. Oh, not even the sword, just his head. You have acquired the architect's son's head. Portal me away, Sonny. But yeah. Because the funny thing is, this is one of those uh, early PlayStation 3 or even PlayStation 2 games that's just like, yeah, this is good. It is a good beat-em-up. It has a good flow. It has a good feel, just with a few little annoyances. And then it pulled that. Where the, whereas the other ones are problems compounded, uh, where, where the other ones have problems mainly due to compounded little problems, bodies of those who had gone in this one just had one very big annoyance. Him, and at once, Kratos knew who was responsible. For this was not the first time he'd seen the ruined Ares and his minions had left in their wake. Kratos had experienced it firsthand. Haven't we Years been fe fighting Ares' enemies? The youngest and enemies? oldest captain in the Spartan army. Kratos inspired fierce loyalty in his men. It had always been enough to carry them through any battle. Until this day. The barbarians to the east numbered in the thousands. And descended on the Spartans. Without mercy. The battle lasted mere hours. The discipline and training of the Spartans did little to stem the tide of the merciless barbarians. The soldiers faced a massacre, while their young captain faced the end of his brilliant career and his life. But to Kratos, victory was worth any price, even his soul. Ares! Destroy my enemies, and my life is yours. That desperate call for aid would come to haunt Kratos for all his days. By the gods, what have I become? Weird moment. Um, hello. What I... Oh. It doesn't have the freaking indicator anymore. But I just really hope that it doesn't have any more of that stupid timer stuff. That it just goes on. Happy go lucky, nicey nicey. Oh, let me guess, this is a summon back the door thing. Maybe. These better not reactivate.
die. You insert the skull key in the lock. Skull key? Uh oh. Rude. 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 This door's locked must be from somewhere else. Hiding spot. Boy, a ladder that can only be gotten to by jumping. I wish I could control my fucking camera. Oh my god, do I wish I could. Why not? Why not? Let me jump up. Man. We can't let you jump up. Why? Because we are an adventure game developer now. And you can only do this one thing this one way. AKA fucking bullshit. And now we shall just leave because uh, this is bullshit. This is some bullshit, kitties. Because again, it's getting to the obtuse design. Just have a straightforward thing. Here's point A. You need to get to point B or do point or do thing C and kill everything. Bada fucking bing, bada fucking boom. It's not that fucking hard. Just kill everything in between point A and point B on your way to do thing C. Sure, you need to have challenge, but that's where the actual expertise and skill and designing comes to uh, comes to play. And a lot of it is just kind of failing here. And it's just very annoying rather than challenging. Because it says, oh, a time limit can be challenging. Yeah, if it's done right. But there, it was just pure bullshit. Because the moment, like, the sirens. The sirens were the freaking problem. Because they take so much to kill. They just take so much to kill. You have to find these. Ooh, where do I find them? We don't fucking know. You're just getting pissed off. Oh, and you can't go the other way around. Yay. So I have to go past everything again. Who knows, maybe I'm in the wrong place. I don't fucking know, because there's no fucking indication anywhere. It was like, ooh, ladder! Yay, I don't know how to get to the fucking ladder. Yay! That's the entrance, so really there's only two ways to go. 
the same point, the muses, and then the other unrelated point is to the big squirrely geek. Which honestly, who cares? I guess let's go down here again. See if we see if pointing the thing will do anything. I don't fucking know. Ooh, maybe it's a time limit. I don't know. It can't be a time limit because there's no way you can get there fast enough. So, that's a load off my mind. Maybe you jump on that thing while it's going around so you can easily access the ladder. I don't know. Because I'm just getting sick of its not explaining anything design. Explain! It's your fucking job. Wait for it to come around so we can try the stupid idea, probably get killed, and be booted somewhere back far, far away. Ooh! Ooh, uh, this actually might be the way! Huzzah! Not nearly as obtuse as other points of the puzzles in gameplay, but I'd still say pretty meh. Yay, now it can be done all the way around again. We now present to you, this death trap is only here to open a ladder and once the ladder is opened, it just goes boom. Now I'm gonna call it bad design because that thing served no purpose. Some of these have balls. Some of these have not balls. But at least I have more health now. Kratos' marble collection. I kinda don't look forward to playing this game again, at least on anything above easy. Because holy fucking shit.